How to add size chart in Shopify for beginners. Hey guys, welcome to another Shopify tutorial in which I will teach you how you can add size chart in Shopify very easily. So let's get into it. First of all, what you have to do is you will log into your Shopify and you will get to your admin right here. If you do not have an account on Shopify, you can create one for free using your email address or using your Google account. So once you create your account on Shopify or you log into your account, this is where you get this is our main admin. Now, whenever we create a product on Shopify, we also need to add a size chart and we want to add different variants to it. So it's actually really easy to do. For that, we will have to go to the products right here. Let's create a new product and I'll show you step by step how we create size chart. To add a new product, you hit add product. And this is where we will add our product details. So first we have to enter a title for the product. I am creating a product, let's say it's a hoodie. Now we have to enter the description for our product. Uh, this is where we add, you know, descriptions. I'm just going to actually go for a simple description. Let's just write the word description for now. Then we have to add the media. This is where you upload images. Now, because we're creating a size chart, because that means we are creating a lot of variants. So make sure to add multiple images here and we can even add videos and 3D models. I will click on upload new and upload the images. So our image is uploaded. You can see this is my product. Now the next step is the pricing. So I will simply add the pricing here and we can even add a compared at rate. Then we can add a cost per item. There you go. Now we will move to inventory. Now this is where you can see we have continue selling when out of stock. So we can add some of the inventory and quantity options here. You can add this product has SKU or barcode. Uh, you can add your shop location. This is where you fill in the inventory options. Then we have shipping. Now this is where you add your weight of the product. This product requires shipping or not. So you will select it here. Now, this is the option where you will be creating a size chart, which is the variance. We can create different variants to a product. So this is the option right here. Click on add options like size, color, material and style. So here, because we're creating a size chart, I will select size. So now we can select different types of sizes, different types of variants that are available. So. You will enter the sizes. For example, we start from XS to small to medium to large XL double X. So this is our size chart. You can see we have products from XS to double XL. Now, what we need to do is we'll click on done. Once I click on done, now you can see we have this size chart available. So once you have added the variance, we can actually customize different, uh, you know, fields about this pricing. Now, if you have different pricing for different sizes, then you will add them right here. For example, suppose if you sell XS for maybe a little less, then you can add the price here. For example, if you sell double XL for a little bit more pricing, then you will add it right here. So this is how you add the pricing available. This is where I'll add the availability of each product. So for me, it's a little bit easy because we have, let's say, 10 products for each. So I'll just simply type in our on-hand products and our available products right now. So of course, it can be in hundreds. Maybe sometimes you have limited products. So you will simply add the options here. Then we can even customize the SKU and barcode, of course, for each product. Click on edit and this is where you can edit the information. You can open up this window and this is where you can customize information, inventory and more. So I will close it and then we have the delete. For example, if I want to delete something, then you just simply hit delete and it's deleted. So you can see this is just like a simple size chart. But let's say 
I actually have different variants according to different colors. We have, let's say there's black and white colors. So maybe one product is not available in white, maybe not in, available in black, but different sizes. So I have other variants. So for that, I'm going to go to add another option and I'm going to color this time. So for color, we have black and we have blue and yellow. So these are my colors. I'm going to click on done. And now Shopify will automatically create all the variants for me. I have 18 variants of this product now because of the sizes. Now you can see each color is available in each size. For example, we have excess for small, blue, and yellow. Then when it comes to small, we have black, blue, yellow, medium, uh, large, XL, double XL, all colors are available. Let's say for some reason, if I do not have one color available for one variant, for one size, I can just delete it from here. This is how you create variants or a size chart with Shopify. It's really easy to do. Once you have added all of the information about the product, you just hit save and your new product is saved with a size chart. So if I take you to my store now or if I take you to my product page, you'll be able to see with this product, we will have its variants. So let's actually go to preview. And this is our preview right here. Now you can see our product has a size chart and it shows our, you know, customers different sizes and colors if it's available, if it's not available. So this is the size chart that you can create very easily with Shopify within your product page. Um, you don't have to use any integration. You don't have to use complicated coding. You can use uh, this method to create a size chart for your customer. Now you can see the size chart is available. Whatever sizes you deal in, you can add them right here. Similarly, we can add different collections to a product. So for that, what you can do is you can go to product organization here and you can even add different collections. So I'm going to add this one to homepage and then I can go with tags uh, within my tags. Again, I can add my, uh, you know, sizes so that it's easy to, uh, you know, find a product and to search uh, between different products here. So once your product is ready, now you can sell it and you have a size chart that you created within your Shopify for free. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know everything that you wanted to know. And don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and family members so they can also get the information they want to. Also, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. The button will be given right down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, hit the notification bell so every time you get notified when we post a video. So yeah, also leave a comment down below. What was your favorite part and what did you learn from this video or if you have any question.